<laughs> I've been working uh, labor jobs my entire life, and I'm, uh, I'm 47 years old now, and I'm starting to feel the effects of those labor jobs on my back and my neck and my body, so I thought I need to do something else. Um, and my options were very limited because I didn't have a high school diploma. I knew that I needed to do something, uh, so I wanted to get my GED to kind of start that. I want to be a barber, so uh, uh, tomorrow I'm going to go do a tour of a barber school here in town and, and get that rolling. I did some research online um, uh, about the resources as far as GED classes, um, what was avail available to me out there, um, I, and the library district uh, uh, came up in that search and I clicked on that and that was the first phone call that I made. I came into this class knowing nothing. It's been 30 years since I've been in school. Um, uh, I could uh, add, I could subtract, I could multiply, and half the time I couldn't divide. And so uh, uh, the, the, class, the classes are very informative, they're very well structured. Um, um, they follow the book and the book follows the test. And so it's just a process. You follow the process and you're going to pass the test. I was nervous at first, um, I, but when I stepped into the classroom, I looked around and I realized there was a few people there older than I was. And so it was great. I felt great about it. I felt proud of myself for stepping into that uh, environment. Um, when I first showed up, I looked around, everybody seemed smarter than me, and that was a little intimidating. And I didn't realize that we're all here on the same goal, all here doing the same thing. And so uh, I, I just wish, you know, that the people I went to class with, I, I, you know, I, I wish for their success, and I'm excited for them. It's, it's a good feeling inside. I just passed uh, my final GED test today, um, I, just a few minutes ago, so I'm very happy about that. But it, tests are nerve-wracking. It doesn't matter if you prepare or if you don't prepare, going into a test is nerve-wracking. Uh, preparation is the key. Um, uh, and no preparation is going gonna, is gonna to yield you poor results. Preparation um, uh, is going to yield you positive results. And so uh, that's what I did, and I'm happy to say that I'm, I'm through it and on to the next thing. I used two vouchers and I paid for two tests myself. Um, uh, uh, during this whole process, it was hard for me to maintain uh, full-time employment, and so I had to do some other things to make money um, um, uh, through this process. And the vouchers really helped offset the, uh, the expense of uh, obtaining a GED, so I was real thankful for that. I felt a little bad, like maybe I was taking somebody else's opportunity away from them by accepting the vouchers and using the vouchers, but it was explained to me that uh, that's not how it works. Everybody gets a couple vouchers, and it's a good thing, and I was appreciative of it. Pikes Peak Library District, I, I just want to say thank you. I have so much gratitude in my heart, so much appreciation. Without them, without uh, the, the inst uh, Carol's instruction, I, I couldn't have got it done. Um, uh, so uh, just the most gratitude and appreciation I can express. Um, thank, you, thank you so much.